Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmate. In our last two videos, we created the infinite jump and we created the standard jump. Links to those two videos will be on screen and in the description below. Before we start, the assets that we will be using in today's video will be available to download for free. The link will be in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be creating the double jump. The difficulty of today's video is going to be the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. Just a quick reminder, the end result of this series will look something like this. Where you can move left and right with animations, you can jump, you can also aim the cannon up and down, as well as shooting the bullets in the direction of the cannon. Also, when the bullets come in contact with the ground, they explode. The animation was created by another member of the team. So to get started, what we're going to do is open up our player jump script. So in order to create a double jump, we need to check to see if we've double jumped or not. So I'm going to create a public boolean or bool, and then I'm going to call it double jump. And that's going to equal false. So next we go to our fixed update and we've got to create an if statement, which will reset our double jump to false whenever we're on the ground. So if grounded, double jump will equal to false. So what this does is whenever we're on the ground, double jump is then reset to false. So all we got to do now is slightly alter our if statement so it can allow our tank to double jump. So our if statement will now read if jump and open brackets grounded. And then we're going to type two vertical bars, which is shift backslash. And then we type not double jump. And, and then we close those brackets off. And outside the if statement, we're going to create an open curly brackets. And then we're going to close it off. And then we're going to type if open brackets, not double jump and two ampersands and not grounded we're going to set double jump to equal to true and semicolon so the double vertical bar is another way of saying or so this if statement reads if jump and grounded or jump and not double jump it will get the rigid body 2D, it will add some force to the Y direction, and that forces the jump forward. So if jump and grounded is the first jump, and the second jump is the if jump and not double jump. And then the reason you can't jump again is that when, when double jump and grounded is not true, it will set double jump to true. Therefore, you can't do another jump. And that's pretty much it. So if we save that with control S and then go back to Unity, just give it a sec to update. Uh, we select our tank and you'll see we have our double jump variable. So I'm gonna run the game. And now we can double jump. So that's all we're gonna be doing for today's video. Uh, feel free to tune back next time. We'll be starting to create our shoot mechanic If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on unity 3d My name is Joshua Mutu and thanks for watching